And now, it's time for Mort Zerwood and Friends Halloween Happenings 2, our second volume in uh, JPN Ted Halloween. Join us as we present Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This is show 8764, presenting Mort Zero and Friends Halloween Happenings, and we are having a great time. But first, let me tell you my rules and advice for a safe and scary Halloween. Don't go without your parents. Don't accept any apples, popcorn, or cookies for treats. Don't eat all your candy in one night. And don't play mean tricks on neighbors. Here's my list of do's. Do watch out for traffic. Do carry a flashlight. Do walk together. Do remember to say thank you and happy Halloween. And don't forget to have a good time this Halloween. What would be better than a scary song? But anyway, I'd like to start the song with this immortal classic. One thing that... The life audiences for a long time. Um, what what Frank Sinatra called Dumbest thing you ever heard. And Elvis, yes, the king himself, called the rap song of amazing. Don't get out there, Elvis. I'm still here. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For a monster from a slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash, the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash, he did the mash. It caught on in a flash, he did the mash. It was the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east, to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abode to get a jolt from my electro. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. You caught on in a flash. It's not the mash. It's not the monster mash. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Roseman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking over digging sounds. Igor on chain back by his dang hounds. The coffin bangers from all about to arrive with a local group. They kept to the fight. It is the mash. It is the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash, it saw the mash, it saw the monster mash. Out from his coffin, Drax voiced ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid, and shook his fist and said, What have happened by that brain twist? It saw the mash, it saw the monster mash, the monster mash. It's a graveyard smash. You caught on in a flash, and it saw the mash. It's not a monster mash. Now everything's cool, Drax a part of the band. And a monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was then too. When you get to my door, tell them Boris sent you. And, and you can mash. And you can monster mash. The monster mash. And do my graveyard smash. You'll catch on in a flash and do the mash. And do the monster mash. Ah! Easy, Igor. You are a impetuous young boy. It's not a mash. It's not a mash. 
And now I'd like to have John Paul sing a little song you do. And it's Stirring the Brew. <laughs> stirring and stirring and stirring the brew. Stirring the brew. Tip-toe, tip-toe, tip-toe. That's very good. And now, we'd like to present this year's Halloween classic. And we're, you're invited to partake in this little experiment. You see, we are presenting Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, Please, um, it might be a bit too intense and a bit too scary for some people. Um, we ask that if you have, if you're too nervous to see this, please leave the theater. You see, Dr. Jekyll, the philanthropist, the physician, loved by all, and Mr. Hyde, is early loathsome and plunges into all matters of evil. You see, Dr. Jekyll created a potion that, well, Ready to get Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Lewis Stevenson. Every man is truly two beings, cursed with the struggle of good and evil within him. What will this duality be like, separated, each part living alone, the good companion, and then the pure and ugly evil of a man? You yes, Dr. Jekyll. Then come in, come in. Did you get the sword? Yes, sir. Finally, sir. But only three pounds of it. It was all the chemist had. Good. It will suffice. Then thank you, Paul. Uh, anything else, sir? Hmm? Oh. Oh, no. No, no, Paul. Good night. Uh, I beg pardon, sir, if I may ask it. Is the experiment nearly done? I think so, Paul. This time, I think it's really nearly done. Oh, splendid, sir. Cook will be glad to hear it, too. That's a good idea. Good night, good night. Yes, and a gram of salt. Well, it's strange, Jekyll, but if 
This is the way you want it. Hide us. Captured my interest, Addison. His well-being is the one thing uppermost in my mind. I want to be certain, in case something does happen to me, that Hyde will be financially secure to carry on. Mm, I see. Well, all right, sir, as you wish. The will be ready for your signature in a few days. I'll bring it around, myself. Yes, Splendid, Addison. Uh, now, what about that spot one? Uh, thanks, no. Uh, Dr. Lanyon's expecting me. Mm. He was only asking about you the other evening, Jekyll. We see you so seldom these days. Well, I've been rather hard at it in the laboratory. Sure you can't say. Uh, another time. Uh, good night, Jekyll. Uh, good night. Wonder who the devil this Edward Hyde is. Mistress Utterson was the first of many Londoners who were to wonder about the hideous spectre like Mr. Hyde. Who were to fear the shadows of night because of him. One evening, nearly a week later... Yes, 